And good morning, Sagittarius, ladies and gentlemen, and happy birthday. Welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is I'm going to give you a general romantic reading on what I'm kind of seeing coming towards you or, or happening to you from now until the end of this month. Ladies and gentlemen, I've decided to go on and use my Lenormand's deck as already shuffled here. In addition to using another Oracle deck to just give you a bit more part and advice into your situation. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, and as always, if this reading resonates, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. Okay, let's go on and get started. I'm going to just go on and make a few general observations, and then we're going to go on and get into your reading here, okay? Just by looking at your cards here, I'm kind of feeling that um, the person uh, that you may have some interest in or, or appears to be coming towards you romantically may be already committed or perhaps maybe an unavailable type person or it might even in fact for a lot of you or many of you I'm seeing it's someone from your past or someone you kind of see or kind of feel as if he or she is your soulmate. The person appears to be a bit, bit popular, party boy, seems to party all the time and like a playboy or playgirl type personality I'm feeling and even a bit promiscuous from time to time. For many of you, I'm feeling that this might even be a long distance type relationship or internet type romantic connection that you have here. And I'm also feeling the person perhaps has proven to you, perhaps in the past, or to be a bit of a cheater or sneaky or and even a workaholic, I'm feeling. But I'm seeing an over an abundance. You probably see this person as being a, your sex partner or an emotional type person. Um, or an emotional buddy of some sense, okay? I'm seeing something connected with um, a lot of texts and emails that you may be receiving or something with a conference call or something done within a chat room. Uh, those are just some um, general observations that I'm picking up. So let's go on and just dive right in to just get into your reading here and start with the card falling to the bottom of the deck here. We have the ring, okay? So the ring denotes an earth sign. It can be a Taurus, Capricorn, or either a Virgo. And this card is all about, ladies and gentlemen, a serious tight relationship or an agreement of some sort, including marriage or a love bond or engagement and unions. And it pertains well for like new encounters of all sorts. So since this symbol is also a circle that you're seeing here, okay, it denotes a course of a cycle, ladies and gentlemen. It could be a repetitive type event or romantic event that tends to keep occurring for you guys, okay? With someone from whom you may have been estranged, may have returned, or might be trying to return, okay? So, um, this energy definitely forebodes well for a reunion and, a, and uh, you know, a stronger type commitment with someone for many of you, you know, that I'm kind of getting. And some of you might even be concerned about whether someone is already married or commitment to another, um, even feel yourself somehow maybe stymied or stuck in a situation from which you are kind of having problems. Um, I'm feeling relinquishing that I'm kind of getting here with kind of seeing that card here. So let's go on and just look at things that are in the past or might be um, currently kind of presently happening or already in works. We're just looking at these batch of cards that's fallen from your past there. So we're going to start off with examining this doll card here. So that denotes a water sign. It can be a Cancer, Pisces, and or Scorpio. And this card is certainly all about soulmate type connections. And Venus is definitely the ruler. And it's all about, you know, a loyal type friend or someone that you've known for a while or someone you felt, you know, offered perhaps unconditional love, but also one who appears or may have appeared to you to be a bit needy. And even, you know, we all know the old adage that tends to come with the dog. I mean, this dog might have, um, uh, you may have fed him, but he might have bit the hands that fed him. Okay, when you're personally seeing this fox card, they're connected. Okay, um, I'm feeling, getting here, just looking at your batch of cards here, is that it appears that you are more involved with someone whom, you kind of thought perhaps was good for you, um, even as your soulmate, I'm feeling, but a lot of betrayal and deception kind of surrounding this union, 
And I saw a lot of dishonesty, a lot of duplicity, and you're wondering whether your relationship will strengthen, but you might need to kind of further evaluate your situation here because it looks like a lot of this negative energy is more so in the past, but um, you have to really kind of evaluate your situation before um, determining what will really be your best uh, approach in terms of moving forward, okay? And then you have this next card, which kind of um, gives your reading a bit more positive energy here because you have that garden card there. So this denotes an air sign, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, as well as fire type signs, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And it's all about, you know, parties or social occasion. It shows that maybe... You know, you may have connected with someone from your past or something at a social event or at an occasion and thought that the relationship would flourish in some way. But with this Fox card here, it looks like it was a shorter person that many of you may have dealt with that kind of deceived you, I'm feeling in some way. Okay. And so let's go on and just because when you know, when you see in here with this Fox card, you know, just getting back to that card, that denotes a, a fire sign. So. It could be a Sagittarius, just as yourself, a Leo, or an Aries. And Neptune is the ruler of this card. And once again, this card is all about lies, deception, and deviousness, and manipulation, and greed. And really, guys, things really just kind of going on wrong behind your back that perhaps you might have didn't even notice. Um, this card comes with up womanship, you know, um, being taken advantage of. So I'm feeling that that's what you may have been experiencing or might be in the process of experience up here. Okay. Now we're just going to move forward to the future to see what uh, might be coming up for you. You have this, of course, you have that heart card there. And, and that's kind of wondering, you know, about your chances or wondering perhaps whether you will in fact ever have your heart's desire. And next to this card, you have this spirit card there so this is a very positive card and this card denotes again an air sign gemini libra and or aquarius and it's all about ladies and gentlemen your intuition and opening the third eye chakra you know this card says that you're not alone ladies and gentlemen and believe in the hunches that you receive as it relates to your romantic um situation it also might even indicate experience that you know, may have passed or whatever, they have been trying to reach you and, and maybe in your dreams or you've been feeling this presence. And this person is just trying to just get a message to you and, and asking you to kind of open up a bit more and listen, okay? Um, and then, you know, last but not least here, okay, you have, well, actually, we have another card to examine, but you have that letter card there. And this card refers once again to an air sign. Libra, Gemini, and or Aquarius, and the ruler of this card is Mercury. And this card is all about an invitation that you may be receiving or an invitation to come to a party or a gathering of some sort. And it's certainly all about news, a message that kind of appears to be coming, be it telephonically, you know, email, Facebook, text, etc. It shows that you're going to receive a call or a love letter or something from someone with whom you have it looks like an internet type connection or even perhaps a long distance type connection. But one thing that, you know, having chosen, decided to choose this last Oracle card here, the card selected says win or lose. And as you would expect, this card is certainly all about disagreement and, you know, detachment. And it's all about love. And it shows that perhaps some potential or some type of disagreement may kind of come up between um, the two of you, and it wants you to kind of recognize whether your ego is kind of causing this, you know, or, or or your greed in some way, okay? And you have to get rid of the desire to win because you know that with every winner, there has to be a loser. So you're in a kind of a win-lose type situation with this. And be cautious about letting, you know, letting your self-interest, you know, really get the better of you, Um you know, when it comes to, you know, allowing it to happen at someone else's expense, you know, so it's trying to, especially in your romantic situation, try to, you know, solve your disagreements in a win-win type situation, okay? And detach yourself from um, things or a person who might even be trying to provoke you if that's necessary. So once again, uh, Sagittarius, this is what I have for you.
Once again, I do wish you all a happy birthday. And if the reading resonated, go on and give it a big thumbs up. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, please take a few moments to do so now. And should any of you wish to have a more personalized reading, you can contact me at wat61073 at gmail.com. Do enjoy your day. Thanks a lot.